How the fuck you guys doing? It's Max, otherwise known as Doing It For Her here once again, and I got a gameplay with Matt Sarah on UFC Undisputed 3, and uh, before I even get into things, I'm just going to advise you all to not use Matt Sarah. I'm not trying to talk shit or be an asshole or anything. Matt Sarah literally is, in my opinion, the worst guy in this game. None of his stats go over 75, I don't think. I mean, literally none of them. He's an 83 overall. Uh, he's got a 68 inch reach you have to stay in the pocket just to even have your knuckles connect with their goddamn fucking mustache and shit so you have to stay like right up in them and uh, it sucks and he's got a spinning back fist I guess that's one cool thing about him but I don't like the way it's mapped on his moveset because it's a really like strike that a lot of people hit he's got those ducking hooks that Mir and Overeem have and shit I reverse the slam right here and uh, another thing he has, if you saw at the beginning of the fight, he's got that little lunging takedown. And then he's also got that slam that I like to do when I'm Shogun Hua. In case I miss the takedown, I can just instantly hit that slam and get right into side control. Uh, if you missed it, I'll point it out again when I do it. I know the replay shows it too, but uh, Matt Sarah in this game actually is like legit terrible. He's slow as piss too. Um, I really had a hard time getting a gameplay with him. There's a dude that keeps commenting saying, use Matt Sarah, use Matt Sarah in every video I make. So, holy shit, I tried to tough it out and use him. And I did. And as you can see, I keep hitting that spinning back fist or trying to hit it. I'm not trying to hit it, though. Like I said, the way it's mapped on his moveset is really weird, and I keep accidentally hitting it. I don't like it. He's got one head kick. He's got a sweep when you're in full mount, or when they've got you full mounted. There's the slam again right there that I was talking about. But, uh, when... They have you full mounted, he's got the sweep where he rolls you over and then you get into their guard. So I guess that's another good thing about him. But that's really all he's got. I mean, Matt Sarah is actually horrible in this game. I was trying to get a gameplay with him all night, but man, the desperation kicked in in these player matches. Like, you'll see it even in this match too. I win this round, like, pretty clearly. And uh, this guy, like, gets into full on desperate mode in the second round. But that's what was happening to me all night. I was just trying to fucking mess around with Matt Sarah and just, you know, joke around, get a decent, entertaining gameplay. I know this isn't the best, but this is all I could fucking get. I was getting so frustrated. You can even ask the friends I was talking to while I was doing it, dude. I was just in the worst mood ever because that's what it put me in. Because the, the, the mindset of people in player match is, like, ranked times two. It's crazy, man. I go into player match trying to have fun, but these people act like it's ranked and it's, like, it's going to be on their job application if they beat me, like, the next day. Like, they're going to fucking sign a college thing and they're gonna see what your special tasks were and they're gonna write down like I beat DIFH in UFC Undisputed 3 last night like that's their mindset like that's some super big goal so I mean there's nothing wrong with that but it just gets really annoying when I'm trying to relax and just play player match but now that the replays are over I don't have to keep rambling on about my frustrations of using Matt Sarah and I can go on and talk about using Matt Sarah so holy fucking whoop de doo joy you can see this guy's pissed doesn't want to want to touch gloves with me and uh, instantly he changed up his game plan now I'm not saying he got desperate because he did the takedown I'm saying he gets desperate because of the way he keeps doing it and completely changed up his style I don't know if this dude like handed the controller over to his friend or he just instantly put on the desperation panties but I get elbow rocked trying to do the sweep here but Matt Sayre is so piss poor slow and I get rocked but uh, I hit it here in a minute I don't think I eat any more elbows nope wait He's going to put me back into full mount. I'm trying to reverse his fucking transitions, but it's not working. Uh, but I do finally get one soon. But this is the sweep I'm talking about. That's another good thing about him. I guess that's about it. Catches me off guard. Did not see him going to do that. And uh, I'm going to hit a reversal coming up here soon, finally. Right now. Yep, boom. And I hit him with some gnarly ass shots here. This is one thing I always try to preach to people. I love beating people up from the guard. I can sometimes do a lot more damage from the guard than I can, like, the full mount. Because, look... Two body shots, tricked him, three punches straight to the face. That hurt him big time. He gets me off as he was about to eat some more. And I know these are coming. That's why I told him to bring it on. Boom. Knee. You know, just don't get predictable. Matt Sarah, knockout with an intercept knee. I saw it coming because he clearly was just only focused on that. Because Matt Sarah, you know, you can take him down so easy. Like I said, uh, I haven't seen his defense stats, but I know his offense stats are absolutely horrible. This is the biggest pain in my asshole to get, so please, if you're still watching, like this fucking video for me, because 
this was an absolute frustration. I hope the guy that wanted me to use Matt Starr is happy, and I hope you guys are happy. I got a gameplay with the shittiest guy in the game, in my opinion. I don't know. You guys try and use him. You tell me your luck with him. Peace.